Hello and welcome back. Hope you're good doing well. So I'm looking at the New Zealand dollar and US dollar. It is setting up for a buy opportunity ahead of the FOMC rate decision. Market is is expecting that uh, you know uh, Fed is going to market is just simply expecting that uh, Fed is going to be hawkish. All right, and uh, but still we may see you know a good aggressive move over there on the New Zealand dollar against the market expectations all right rather than more downside on the new zealand dollar against the, the the dollar okay so what you are simply looking for you are looking for the retracement of this previous drop okay if i'm gonna draw fib lines from there to there so you are looking for retracement of this previous impulsive move at least up to 70 okay this previous top at least 70 or we can see that up to that trend line Okay, so up to that trend line. Okay, if I'm gonna draw that arrow, then that's what you are looking for longer term. All right, and uh, short term and medium term target to be over there on lower time frame. All right. So if I'm gonna look at the lower time frame, you are simply looking for this to break out. Okay, if another leg appears over there for you know small move to the downside that is not going to change the 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 reversal opportunity on this chart okay this one more drop can happen i'm not anticipating but in case if that's that is coming you are looking for this to reverse sharply for upside and uh, continue to keep pushing more higher all right that's the reason i have drawn that you know turn line over there just to let you know that uh, it may form new low as well okay so what you are looking simply this channel to or wedge we can say that right now okay this wedge which is just forming over there that wedge to break up aggressively and uh, tries to let me draw arrows right this wedge to break up and price to short term target gonna be this previous top okay these are the short term target so if i'm gonna draw horizontal lines short term target longer term target all right and uh, short term target gonna be medium term target gonna be there okay so short term target gonna be this previous high Okay, so short term target gonna be that and medium term target gonna be 41. All right, so 41 of this impulse, we can say that, all right? And uh, medium term target gonna be this previous top and longer term target gonna be there. All right, so if I'm gonna remove those and uh, I'm gonna draw, you know, another arrow over there. So this is what you are looking right now. Your price to go all the way back to that high if i'm gonna look at the lower time frame price is struggling to push more downside okay every time when you know when buyers are coming into the market all right so sellers are are, are coming and trying to push it as much lower as they can all right so the reason is very much clear over there why it's happening because the fomc you know that's causing the 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 dollar to stay strong all right so once we're gonna we're gonna have facts we may see you know break out aggressively for upside okay so every time when this is forming uh you know new lows all right you are looking for aggressive move for upside okay as shown the short term targets the medium term target and longer term target okay if you are looking for short term target okay so focused on that if you're looking for a medium term target okay focused on that and if you are a longer term buyers and looking for a longer term target then obviously you should focus on that okay so we may see another leg higher back to the 70 you know person tracement of the previous impulsive wave all right hope that makes sense we'll see you back again in another setup until then bye